A bold robber hits up a local subway armed not with a gun but a machete. And detectives say without you, this crook may get away with it. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Deb Renan. And I'm Steve Dunn. And lucky for that sandwich maker, the robber just threatened to use those weapons. K2's Anita Cassé is live now near Beaverton with another good look at the video and the one distinct clue, Anita. Well, Stephen Deb, this is the subway hit. It's the one on Beaverton Hillsdale Highway. You can see it's open 24 hours a day, and usually overnight, the most exciting customers tend to be the sheriff's deputies and police officers that work close by and come here for lunch, but not this time. The video, not long, because it didn't take long for this robber to get what he wanted cash. Frankly, with a gun and a machete. Who's going to argue? Around 4.45 Saturday morning, while on a smoke break outside this Beaverton subway, deputies say the robber confronted the sandwich maker, forcing him inside to clear out the cash register. You can't see much from him. He's got his face covered. He's got a big black jacket on and a baseball cap. But look closely at his choice in fashion. He's wearing a red shirt, and it's a fairly distinctive shirt. Um, it's got a skull, a flaming skull on it. And looks a lot like the work by designer Ed Hardy. Washington County County investigators hope you recognize that, and so do workers in the same strip mall. Area have a lot of people, so we don't expect anything happen during the business hours. But we scare of that. We don't want anyone to get hurt anything from it. We still have families. Twee No at a maze salon says the payless next door was also hit over the summer. She's now thankful for surrounding security cameras. For for safety, yes, for us, for employees. Especially with this guy still out there, not afraid to pull out a gun with what looks like a silencer attached and a machete at his waist. The only thing that's really going to solve this is if we get a tip from someone who knows the suspect. It's too bad that this deputy, or this robbery, I should say, didn't happen just a few minutes later. A deputy actually pulled in here for lunch, went inside, and found that clerk in a panic, calling 911 at that very moment. Now, at this point, officers do have that video, but they really do not have anything else in this case. They say even the vehicle description was quite vague. Live near Beaverton, Anita Kasey, K2 News. Hopefully somebody talks.